All right, everybody. Last year I made a video. I think it has about 76,000 hits now. Um, it's about throwing a change up, throwing the C change. I love that pitch. In fact, I've been working with Blake Brailsford and many others. Uh, Blake just got, congratulations to Blake, by the way. He just got a scholarship a few months ago, actually, to BYU, uh, Brigham Young University here in Utah. And I, I feel a lot of it has to do with, well, one, I've never seen anybody work harder uh, at, at throwing than he has. I mean, he's a workhorse. But one of the things that I feel that got him noticed is this sea change that I've been teaching. And, uh, well, and then he's worked really hard. He, is, hey, he does have a natural ability to throw the baseball. I'm not giving the credit to me, but he's, he's worked on this sea change for a very long time, for about three or four years, and it is nasty. He's a lefty. And it comes through, obviously you can see, I can't throw left-handed, but it, it comes through on the outside corner to a righty and drops near their left or their right shoe, their pivot foot. And it's just a nasty pitch. But again, three things get people out. Change of speed, movement, and location. He's got all of those. So and that's what you want to work on. But this C change, I, wanted to, I want to talk about something very specific with it. Typically, as pitchers, when we add fingers to the baseball, we want to grip the ball too tight. We still want to hold this C change like an egg. And again, if you remember from that video, you're throwing the C at the glove. Okay, this is in preparation for a circle change, which is a lot hard. It's a lot harder to throw because we tend to squeeze the baseball just a little bit tighter and we can't get the right rotation on it, we can't, we can't throw it very well. And we, we throw this pitch in the ground a lot when we, when we squeeze the baseball too hard. Also, when we get tense, we want to stay relaxed as we throw. And Alan Jager has an excellent long toss program. He talks about how to stay relaxed as you're throwing even 300 feet away, as you're throwing that far away, keeping your arm relaxed. Well, you want to do the same thing when you're throwing other pitches. It's common sense, really. But as you're throwing your C change, I see a lot of people trying to force the C in. They get right here and they try to go right here at the last minute. Here are a few tips with that C change. It's easier to throw this pitch when you have a complete hip rotation. When your hips come all the way around, it's easier to throw that C at the glove. And it's also easier to keep your arm relaxed. One of the worst things you can do, obviously what I just talked about that, is squeeze the ball and try to force that C into, into the, uh, towards the, force the C, sorry, throw the C into the glove, but forcing it there, flexing as you throw. You wanna stay relaxed as you throw that C. It's much easier to do. So that's today's tip. Once again, it's just staying relaxed, throwing your hips towards home plate when you throw it. Another thing that I like to do, if I have a pitcher that's really struggling throwing that C at the glove, I bring him really close to the net. Now there's a net 10 feet from me on this other side. What I'll have them do is just do a few relaxed throws like this into the net, a few relaxed throws. Because the first thing that they want to do a lot of times when they throw the pitch is pull and throw the C like that. That's what they typically do when I first show them that. It takes a while. It takes, you know, 15 or 20 nice throws, relaxed throws, throwing that C in the glove just like that. That's what I did. I just threw that C. I kept my arm relaxed. And that's the first thing that I, I want them to do is just learn how to throw that pitch relaxed. And then we go back all the way back to about 54 feet and then finally on the mound is 60 feet, six inches. But throwing relaxed is the key to throwing any pitch too. Again, especially with the C change and the curveball. So you can get that C towards the glove and relax your arm. Keeps a lot of pressure off your arm as well. Hopefully that'll, that'll help you out.